Today is Saturday, April 23rd, 2011 at 11.25 p.m. <laughs> um, so I want to touch on the sleep apnea thing. And I got a call on Thursday um, from the place where I had my sleep study on um, that thing that device came from and they were like we have a prescription for something something um we'll see if you're we're waiting to hear for your insurance if you're gonna receive for, for benefits um and we will call you back uh, I just kept saying okay okay but I, I had no idea what she was talking about and then she had a thick accent and I think she was Hispanic, and I wish she would have spoken in Spanish instead, because um, me and accents just don't go well, and if you just speak in Spanish, I'll be fine. <laughs> um, but then, and I didn't know what was going on, um, I was like, wait, what? They already sent me the sleep study thing. Um, and she's like, yeah, yeah, we, but we got your results and blah, 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 and we have a prescription for you to have a device. And I was like, um, what are you, what are you saying? Like, I mean, I haven't spoken to the people at True Results, and, um, I had no idea, you know? Um, so I do have sleep apnea, and I guess I just didn't want to come to terms with it. And then whenever I got that call, I decided to Google search sleep apnea and it said most people who have sleep apnea have no idea they have sleep apnea and I, there you go, I have sleep apnea. Um, but that's okay, I guess. The device, I, I Google search that too, I Google search everything. Um, yeah. Um, the device is weird, and I kind of don't want to wear it. It's like this thing that goes like this, and it looks like you're fucking dying or something. I don't know. So, this week, I had a I scheduled my appointment to get my blood work done. And I went to the place. They looked up my information. They said they had no orders for me. And it kind of pissed me off because... I had made the time to go to this place, um, and they didn't take, they didn't take my blood. Take my damn blood! <laughs> you know? And so, I don't know. I emailed my patient advocate, and I hope she emails me back by Monday. Um, I've been trying to learn more things about the lap band um, before going into it and before I even decided to go visit True Results I um, I didn't really think about it too much I thought it was kind of like um, I thought I knew the process was slower than say like a gastric bypass um, but I didn't know the specifics of it and the different things you had to do, um, to work with it and, um, etc. <laughs> well, I have been watching a lot of, um, YouTube videos and one, one specific or two specifically is the Sky Moon and, um, I've been watching Banded Wendy, and I've been watching... It's 11.30. I started to watch Banded Wendy. Um, like, I went all the way down to two years ago from the beginning um, because I kind of wanted to go through it as if she had just gotten it so I can know, like, from the start to end to finish to now um, how it is and her progress and everything. And um, it's very interesting to know that each doctor has different orders um she only had like 
10 days of um, pre-op liquid diet. Um, and then she eats, she went through the phases. There's three phases that you go through. Um, I can't, I don't think my folder is around here. Um, there's three phases that you go through. Um, first it's all liquids, clear liquids, then uh, post-op. Um, clear liquids, then, um, mushy stuff, and then soft. I don't know. Anyway, it's three stages, and it's every week you go through a, through a different stage. That's how my doctor has it set up. Um, but her doctor, um, like after three days, she was off of the liquid diet and on to the next and on to the next one. Um, and I don't know what the difference is. I mean, I guess the way my doctor goes by it is that he's playing it safer maybe um because also he says no bananas and she was eating bananas and she was eating bread and she's allowed to eat um white bread and i'm not allowed to eat white bread ever um white flour anything um and the whole wheat stuff is until three months from the operation. So, I don't know. Um, and then I was watching another guy, I think his name is Bandit B, and he's from Houston. And he said that he, his doctor didn't even put him on a clear liquids diet, on a liquid diet before the operation. Um, which is interesting. Um, I know that some people go three days, seven days, whatever. Um, but not one that's never had, um, any pre-op, whatever. But he said that he wanted to kind of do it because he's going to go from eating Fogo de Chao, um, this, I don't know, South American restaurant here, um, to just having liquids. And it's kind of going to be like a weird thing to transition to, like from one thing to the other. Um, but yeah, and Banded Wendy has talked about food choices and the importance of protein, and the doctor, the nutritionist, um, said that you should always eat your protein first, um, no matter what, but, you know, you always think, uh... Yeah, I guess, you know, I guess I should do that, but you don't really do it until, like, other people who have been in your shoes, um, actually stay, yeah, this is important, um, well, it's not my shoes yet, but I hope to be in those shoes, you know, <laughs> um, and I guess protein is very important to any weight loss, um, program that you decide to be in. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and also exercise. I'm pretty sedentary. Um, I, and then especially since I had that foot thing that I fell and I hurt my foot, I don't really do much. Um, and if I try, it kind of hurts. And no, it doesn't kind of, it does hurt. Um, and I wonder what I could possibly do to bypass that. And I was thinking about it, um, that um, I'm only going to have, from what I want to plan out, I'm only going to have a certain number of um, weeks before I have my foot surgery. And that's going to put a stop to the exercise, so I gotta have to get some exercise in, you know, try to put that mental state in me that I need to get some exercise in. Um, also, I'm pretty scared. I'm scared that I, I'll fail, and I'm really anxious, but I'm also excited. I, I want to do this. Let's do this, you know? Now! 